All right, I'm going to show you how to use the calculator to produce a scatter plot. Okay, so by this time you, you should have uh, seen how to graph functions on the calculator. Now what happens if you've got just a series of points here? So what I've got here is a, is a list of points that I'm going to enter into the calculator. Okay, now maybe I'll push those off to the side here and I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Now, turn the calculator on, I'm going to clear stuff up here. As soon as you start to put points like this in the calculator, we're actually in, uh, we're actually going to be utilizing the stat or the statistics feature of the calculator. So we want to press the stat menu or sorry, the stat button. And that's going to get us into, into this menu right here. Now the very first thing we want to do is edit. Okay, so the first option here is going to be to enter material in. Now I have nothing in, in those lists and that's probably the way most of us should start here. The calculator will, by default, interpret list 1 as the X coordinates and list 2 as the Y coordinates. So we might as well just use that. So I'm going to enter in here 2, enter, 4, enter, 4, enter, 8, enter, 7, enter, 11, enter, 11, enter. Then I'm going to use my, my arrow key, the right arrow, to move over to the next list. And I'll enter in the Y coordinates. 14, enter, 10, enter, 12, enter. 9 enter, 10 enter, 7 enter, 5 enter. Okay? And I want to make sure that I'm ending with the same size of lists here. Uh, if you don't, you will get something called a dim error. Okay, a dimension error where this and this don't match up here. But they do, and that's good. Now, I'm going to get the calculator to plot those points for me. Okay, well, this is, this is a little bit more complicated than simply graphing a function. So instead of, instead of going into y equals, I still have to utilize this button right here, but I'm not going into y equals. I'm going to go second y equals to get into the stat plot menu. So second stat plot gets me into here. And I have the option of using a, a series of statistical plots here. So I'm just going to enter the first one, choose this one. And that opens up this menu right here. So my very first thing I need to do here is I need to turn that plot on. Okay, if I don't do that, then, then the calculator will not look at the statistical data that I just entered to create a point here. Now, I have got several options. Uh, this first one here with the scattered points is a scattered plot. Okay, uh, then we've got, um, we've got a frequency chart here, we've got a histogram, and uh, then you've seen some versions of the, the whisker plots here, okay, and a, and a frequency curve. So right now, the one that we're most often going to use sorry, is going to be this one right here, the, the uh, scatter plot. So we choose enter on that. I want to make sure that my X list is list one, my Y list is list two. Now those can be whatever lists I enter there. And if you're wondering where those L1, L2 come from, they are just above the buttons one, two, three, you can see four, five, six list one, list two, list three. So if I needed to to change that, I could simply do second uh, one, second two, whatever. And then finally, I have a choice of three different uh, marks that I can use on my graph. Okay, good. So the calculator is now set up to create a sta uh, scatter plot. It's gonna look at the statistical information and plot those points here. However, if I just press uh, graph right now, I can see a couple things. First of all, I see a leftover from a previous question that I did, and I see some points here. Okay, good. But that's not all those points, and they're kind of off in the corner here. So a couple of things that I want to do if I want to get a clean plot. First of all, I want to go into Y equals, and I want to clear out whatever's in there. Okay? Don't want that there. Okay? Next, uh, if I'm not entirely sure what my good, the window setting should be, here's another use of the button, of the zoom button. Okay, and if you're dealing with the statistical data that's been entered in, this is the one you want to use. Go down, 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 and I believe it's number nine here, zoom stat. And when you're in zoom stat, if you press uh, enter on zoom stat, the calculator automatically looks at those window, uh, the data in there, and chooses a window that is appropriate for you to see all of the points that you entered. Okay, and so there you go. That's how the calculator can be used to create a scatter plot. Now, you should know that uh, when you're graphing here, 
if, if we were to go on and do some other graphing, you might run into an error here. Okay, when I press Y equals, let's say I plug in uh, some functions here. Sometimes I'm going to get an error here when I'm trying to plot these things because that plot, you'll notice at the top of the screen, that plot is still turned on. So if you're graphing something else here, one of the things you might want to remember to do here is move up, press enter to turn off that plot, and then you shouldn't have any difficulties graphing whatever you're left over with.